Now we are talking today about a charity that touches the lives of 90% of the New Zealanders diagnosed each year with secondary breast cancer. Sweet Louise provides hope, help and camaraderie. With us today is Chief Executive Fiona Hatton and Sweet Louise member Paula Noitzi. Morning guys. Morning. Now first off, let's start with you Fiona. Uh, tell me a little bit about the history of Sweet Louise. So um, Sweet Louise is actually 10 years old this year um, and it was started a decade ago um, in memory of Louise Perkins who was diagnosed with secondary breast cancer when she was just um, 29 years old and she went on to live another 10 years um, with the disease and it was the way that she lived her life with positivity that inspired the charity. Wow. Mm. Paula, what's the charity done for you? Um, well, I'm in my seventh year with um, incurable metastatic stage four breast cancer. It's all called lots of things, but it all means the same thing. It means there is no cure for us. Um, I joined Sweet Louise about three years ago. For the first three years, I thought that I could do it all by myself. Um, I thought I was coping, and then I had a major setback with um, disease progression. And I realised that I, I needed help and I couldn't do it all by myself. Mm -hmm. And I also read that people that join um, support groups live longer. So I then joined every support group that I could find. <laughs> and um, Sweet Louise was one of them. And it's just um, been amazing. Um, the support you get from the coordinators, they are, they're just angels. Um, knowing that they're just a phone call away if things get really tough or you just need practical help. Uh, there's also, um, you get an allocation of vouchers each year which you can spend uh, with their service providers. Um, and that can be anything from uh, home help, um, gardening, meal delivery, um, to n treats like massages and um, facials and we things all need like those that. treats don't we yeah and so, so it could be practical help but also if you're having a particularly rough day there's someone on the end of the phone for you to have a chat right. with yeah and they also have a family initiative which is um, a one-off um, payment where you can get your family together and um, have a special outing yeah that sounds fantastic it, is. it sounds like a really great support for you it is uh, because it must be a very difficult time and it must yeah. be a, something that you do need a lot of support with Yes, you should do. Mm. Yeah. So what else does Sweet Louise offer for mm. people? I think as, yeah. um, as Paula said, so we try and offer options is the main thing and that might be um, in terms of more the, the psychosocial support, so having um, support workers up and down the country, um, but also the, the practical stuff. Um, so it, sometimes it is, you know, these are busy women living their lives, often mothers might still be working full time, um, who just need a hand um, doing things um, a around the house. Um, so we try and, as I said, it's all about the options. What can we do? And we try not to be prescriptive. How can we help that individual mm. who's, who's living with this disease? Every situation will be different. So what does yeah. the future hold and what can we do to help? Well, we want to, we've just um, expanded now into South Island, so now we're a truly national charity. We want to get to the point where we are everywhere around the country that anybody needs us. So every year there's 600 women who are diagnosed um, with advanced breast cancer. Um, and we want to make sure that we're the only charity solely dedicated um, to helping and we want to make sure that we're all over the country. So we're asking this month if um, we, if people could text Sweet Louise to 4662, will you will give $3 um, to Sweet Louise um, that we will put straight back into providing services. Paula and Fiona, mm. thank you so much for coming in today. And Paula, thank you so much for sharing your story. Uh, it's been wonderful having you both in the studio. Hopefully our viewers will give generously to Sweet Louise.